I realise I have some library books that I need to take back to the library since I'm moving um, and I realised that these were some graphic novels so I thought perfect excuse for a reading vlog. Hey. Welcome back, or if you are new here, welcome. My name is Katrina and I make bookish content here on this channel at least twice a week and then movie reviews here at the weekend. I have made a graphic novel reading vlog before, so I will leave that linked up above in case you missed it. Um, and yes, I have some stuff to take back to the library. Um, one or two things may be overdue. Uh, it's happening, but basically I'm taking it back tomorrow and the sun is shining right now. So I was like, let's do a reading vlog. So I have three graphic novels here um, and these were all recommended to me. And so that's why I picked them up at the library. So we have uh, Laura Dean Keeps Breaking Up With Me by Mariko Tamaki. I heard Mariko Tamaki talk at um, BookCon or Book Expo uh, two years ago. Um, and I have read her um, Black Canary graphic novel. Um, and so... I was like, yes. Plus, I have to admit that the uh, pink and black drawings in here are part of what attracted me to this. So this is the longest one out of the three. And then another sort of pinky one, um, but this one was recommended to me by another librarian. And this one is Dancing at the Pity Party, a dead mom, a dead mom graphic memoir. And the first graphic novel that kind of like got me into actually being interested in them was a graphic memoir and I've read a couple of graphic memoirs since and so that's why I'm quite interested in reading this one and again the illustrations in this one are quite beautiful um, but very different from the other graphic novel that I just showed you but because this is a graphic memoir I also even love the way that the um, blurb is done on the back here as well uh, so yes, so that is book number two. And then one that was recommended to me at a library virtual book party that is fully overdue now um, is The Sacrifice of Darkness. And this one is written by Roxane Gay and Tracy Lynn Oliver. Um, and so it was the Roxane Gay side of it that kind of attracted me to it. I put a hold on it. I went and picked it up and I haven't read it. Um, isn't that the case a lot of the time? And again, the illustrations in this one are very different again. So we have two graphic novels, a graphic memoir, a couple of pink covers, a couple of, you know, darker things, a couple of lighter things. Um, and yeah, the sun is shining. So we're going to go and read these and I'll take you along with me on my journey. So I'm not sure if this one's going to be for me. It seems a bit post-apocalyptic, a little bit like the sun is gone. We've got some uh, shortages and some curfews and I'm like, mm. It's hitting a little bit too close to home. I don't know. I'm gonna keep going, give it some time. We'll see. We've got lots of sirens apparently. I like how the before and the after is delineated by the difference in the colours. We've got the, the colour where the sun's obviously shining before and then the colour where the sun is no longer shining afterwards. So I finished this one. Um there was a lot of kind of positive messages in there it wasn't necessarily the kind of storyline or the format that I enjoyed but then there was a lot about kind of like love and loyalty and family and hope in there it was interesting that because it was to do with the sun obviously it was the corona council council um which again it's an interesting timing but um yeah it was something different I'm glad I read it but probably not for me I'm a little bit worried that this one is going to be super sad, but we'll see. Let's open it together. I'll see. Yeah, that's not a great start. I feel like it almost feels like no one's read this yet. I love these illustrations. I am still loving the illustrations in this book. I had a chapter where I basically cried through the whole point. Um, it was the part where she said about deleting her mum's number from her phone. That was that was just too much for me. So apologies that I haven't vlogged for seven chapters. Well, that was tough. Not gonna lie. Um, very close with my mum, so that was tough. But I loved how honest it was and just like open about every single part of everything um and like the bit at the end where she talks about all like you know getting 
to the age where her mum was when she died and getting to the age where her mum was when she had her and things like that. That's the kind of thing that definitely resonates with me when things end. It doesn't have to be death, just things ending. Um, and yeah, the illustrations are just gorgeous. And then there's some photos at the end that just made me cry. Like I've still got, still got the cry, cry marks down here. Um, so yeah, so I'm hoping that that was definitely very good. I'm hoping that the next one I will like and won't make me cry. Let's see. So I've come in now since it was noisy and windy out there um, and I have a brownie, which Holly made for me and some coffee. And we're gonna get stuck into Laura Jean keeps breaking up with me and see what we think of this one. Hopefully this one make me cry less. I have to admit, I didn't like Laura Dean Keeps Breaking Up With Me as much as I thought I would. I love the illustrations. There's this one in particular where we see one of the characters and she's got a um, like hoop earrings and the hoop on her earrings is, is pink in the pink and grey narration that I showed. Here it is. Just there. And I think that that is just stunning. Um, and I liked the diversity of the characters and I liked the kind of like chutzpah of the characters, but like Laura Dean is just not worth it. And then um, Freddie, when she's with or thinking about or talking about Laura Dean, is just not a nice person. And I'm like, no, I've known too many people like that. I did not like them. Um, I liked some of the other characters, but not enough to make me kind of engage with the book. Um, this copy from my library is fairly well used. So I'm assuming that lots of people have read it and liked it. And I'm kind of alone in that opinion, but I'm glad I've read it because I've seen it a few times. I've seen it in some vlogs here on booktube. And so now I have read that and it can go back to the library. It's going in my bag right now to take back to the library tomorrow. Um, and then yes, Dancing at the Pissy Party was definitely my favorite out of the three, even though it made me cry. I'm all dry again now, but um, yeah, this is, I mean, the fact that it's a dead mom graphic memoir, please be warned, it, it, it does get upsetting, but it's beautiful illustrations. And I just love how like open and honest she is as she's writing this, so love that um and then yeah the sacrifice of darkness i think i didn't really kind of know what to expect even though it was obviously pitched to me at the library book party i think i was just like roxanne gay gotta go there graphic novel nice quick read and yeah it was deeper than i expected again i liked the illustrations but it wasn't really something that kind of connected with me so much so it was different but i'm glad i have read all three graphic novels. We've read them before. We have to take them back to the library, even though this one is technically overdue. Um, got a whole bunch of other library books that we're taking back to the library. Some read, some not. Um, but yeah, on the whole, uh, I think this is quite successful. Let me know in the comments if you like this kind of vlog. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed, thumbs down if you didn't, but always tell me why. I will be back with more videos for you very soon. So make sure you are subscribed and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on those. Um, and yeah, I will see you then. Thanks for watching.